Hi everyone, it's Melissa. I am here with an update. I know it has been a really long time, but I am 30 weeks pregnant today. Yes. Um, everything is going well. Um, I felt great with my entire pregnancy with Vincent, as far as I can remember anyway. Um, this one has been a little harder on me. I had all the morning sickness in the beginning and I'm just really uncomfortable right now and I know I'm only 30 weeks and I still have quite a while to go. I mean, I know it's like the home stretch, but I still feel like it's a long time. I'll be having another C-section, so it'll happen right around 39 weeks, I think. So that's one week less than I would normally have to wait, right? Anyway, um, what's been happening? I have indigestion. I don't sleep well at night. Um, I'm like out of breath all the time. She's measuring like 50th percentile, um, but she is riding really high. Like my um, midwife did the belly measurement today and she got 33 to 34 weeks. So, and I'm only 30 weeks, so I kind of made a face at her, and she said, but it's fine, you're, you're going to the high-risk doctor, and, you know, they've been doing the growth ultrasounds, and she's been right down the middle, so we're not worried about anything. So, I think she's just sitting really high. I feel like she's sitting high. I mean, when I sit down, I don't have the best posture. I never really have. But when I sit down, if I slouch, I mean, my diaphragm is, like, up in here. I <laughs> can't I can't breathe. If I, have, if I want to take a deep breath, I have to like lay down or I have to sit up really straight. Anyway, um, so I'll show you a couple of really cute pictures that we got a few weeks back from the high risk OB. Um, she does the 3D ones. So here's a little cute one of the baby yawning. Isn't that adorable? Um, there's just a cute little face shot. We haven't gotten any good ones since these. And these were taken when I was only 25 weeks. So um, here's another little one. It's got the arm here. And that's pretty much it. And then, you know, we've got the typical profile shot. Those are always cute and then 29 weeks which was last week we had she had her arm in her face so we got a couple of cute little um, you know the profile you probably can't really see that that well but you know there's the little nose and mouth and that's the body there the top of the head but she had her arm in front of her face and we tried to take one 3d so there's her little nose and mouth, and she's got like an arm and a leg or something up in her face. So so I don't know if we'll get any other great 3D shots, but those ones from 25 weeks I absolutely love, so I'm happy with those. <sighs> I really haven't gained a lot of weight. Um, I'm not a small girl. Um, I'm pretty sure I've probably said my weight on here before, but anyway... Um, before we did this frozen embryo transfer, I was 207. And with all the morning sickness and everything, I went down. A fan just fell. Um, I went down to like 190, and I'm only at like 198 now. And But the baby's growing, and, um, you know, obviously everything's fine. So the other thing is, I've been having a lot of anxiety lately. Um, I have like health anxiety anyway and for some reason it just like kicked in this week or last week. I had been out with Vincent shopping all day and I was tired, I was hungry, I was dehydrated, I was stressed out, whatever. So I felt a little weird and I went to the blood pressure machine at the grocery store because I was worried that maybe my blood pressure was high. Um, I've always been paranoid about my blood pressure going high because I have had high readings in the past 
usually it's when I'm stressed out, you know, like I, when I first go to the doctors, they check my blood pressure. It's usually high and then not high, high, just like borderline, you know, right over normal. And, um, usually once I like calm down, I, it's fine. And then, you know, like I've checked it on my own before and it's usually fine. But anyway, so I worry that when I'm pregnant that it's going to get high. So this day, I checked my blood pressure and I got 102 over 73, which to me seemed like crazy low. I know that's like probably typical for some people. Some people probably even have lower than that for normal. Um, but I'm usually like in the 120s over 70s, somewhere around there. And occasionally it'll go like 130s over 80s. That's what I'm talking about when I say like high. Um, so 102 over 73, it kind of freaked me out and sent me into this like panicking spiral. I was Googling low blood pressure, don't do it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't Google anything regarding health. Just ask your doctor because Google sucks. It'll convince you that you're dying in like 15 seconds. Um, so that was like last Tuesday or Wednesday or something and I've checked my blood pressure like every day since. And I had a couple other ones that were like 108 over 70 something, 111 over 70 something, but most of the time it's been in the 120s over 70s. But still, of course, I've been panicking, so I've had, you know, a few heart palpitations here and there because I'm so stressed out because I've just convinced myself that I'm dying. And, um, you know, my indigestion is worse, I'm not sleeping well, all these things. Anyway, so I had my midwife appointment today and... <laughs> You know, my blood pressure was like 125 over 80, whatever, and she said that was fine, and I told her how I've been obsessing and checking my blood pressure every day and everything, and she said, you're absolutely fine, all of those numbers are within the normal range, it, your blood pressure is fine, and I said, oh, I don't know, I googled, and you know, 30 weeks, I feel like it should start going up now, and she's like, you're the first patient, pregnant patient who has ever come to me, uh, like, wishing that her blood pressure was higher and I, I was like I know I know I know I'm crazy but so she said don't just stop checking your blood pressure like that and uh, she said if you have any concerns at all if you start feeling anxious or whatever call us and come in here and we will check you out and give you peace of mind to let you know you're okay so I was like okay that's good <laughs> um, and then the other thing is I'll occasionally get like very slightly lightheaded for just a split second you know um, sometimes like when I'm changing Vincent, uh, I still change him on his changing table even though his legs hang off like this much down the end. <laughs> it's just easier because it's, you know, at the right height. Um, I'll like bend over and, you know, do Eskimo kisses or give him a kiss or whatever. And a couple of times when I did that, I, I felt like a little woozy. Um, I don't know, shopping here and there, I might get a little, I call it the wooze. That's what I t tell my husband. Um, so I was happy today because all morning I didn't get the woos at all and really I haven't had it all day today so that's good. It's probably because my midwife has put my mind at ease and anyway I told her about that and she said um, it's completely normal. Anyway, my laptop just died. I unplugged it, brought it to the kitchen to make this video and that's how long it lasted. <laughs> So it is time for a new laptop, um, maybe Christmas bonus time, I think I'll get a new one. Anyways, so um, I did tell my midwife about the woos and she said that is so normal, especially at this point in pregnancy, it's, it's absolutely normal. Um, the other thing is I asked her about getting a breast pump. I've contacted my insurance company, they will cover a manual electric or one-year rental of a hospital grade pump. I just want the electric pump. Um, they said you just need to get a prescription from your OB, um, but it has to be after I have the baby. So like right after I have him, the nurses in labor and delivery, I guess, are familiar with all this. They'll know exactly, you know, you have to send, you have to put like a diagnosis. There's this whole list of lactation diagnoses, you know, like difficulty latching or whatever. Um, and then I contacted the actual pharmacy and it'll be a Medela or the lady at the store said Medela, but I've always called it Medela. I don't know. It's, um, the like advanced personal double electric 
breast pump, whatever, it comes with a bag, and it looks pretty sweet. I mean, I had a Medela last time, but it was just a single, um, it was electric. I had, well, I had a manual and electric. It was a single electric pump, and, um, you know, it was all right, but I'm definitely looking to have something a little better this time. And insurance covers it completely. There's no copay or anything, so that's pretty awesome. Um, what else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, everything is going well. The cerclage is doing its job, or maybe I don't even need it at all. I don't know, because my cervix is like four, four and a half centimeters. Hasn't really changed. Um, baby is breech. Big surprise. Vincent was breech also. <sighs> My husband is traveling for work. He leaves at like 4 o'clock in the morning on Monday, drives to Pennsylvania, and then he's there all week, and he comes home like 6 o'clock Friday night. So being 30 weeks pregnant and taking care of my uh, 20, almost 21-month-old son on my own is, you know, pretty difficult. I know single moms do it all the time, so I'm not complaining or whining or, you know, bitching, whatever, but... Um, it's just difficult, you know, like I was used to my husband coming home after work and he would, you know, help clean Vincent up after dinner. He did his tubby every night. Now I have to do that, you know, I got to pick him up and carry him around and dry him off and my belly's getting in the way. It's kind of hard to carry around a 32 pound kid, so <laughs> getting him in and out of the car seat all day, you know, if we go anywhere. But anyway, I'll make it. <laughs> um, that's all. I will do a belly shot, because I don't even know if I've done a belly shot yet in these videos, but I definitely feel like I am freaking huge. I feel like I was when I was almost, well, when I was like 39 weeks pregnant with Vincent. I don't know. I just feel like it's getting big, but anyway. So, there is my baby bump on that side. And on that side. She is like riding really high. I don't know if you can tell that, but like. <laughs> That's my baby girl. Um, we've also picked a name. Her name, well, her first name is going to be Thendara. It's spelled T-H-E-N-D-A-R-A. And the story behind that is John and I were vacationing in upstate New York over 10 years ago before we were even engaged. And we came across a little town named Thendara. It's a Native American word, means edge of the forest. And we loved it. And we were like, oh, if we ever have a little girl someday, we'll name her Thendara. And it just no other name ever could compare and we tried looking at other names and everything and just didn't like anything and then the two middle names will be after my two grandmothers uh, one is named Elsie and one is named Anne I was going to make them into one name just Elsie Anne but I I feel like I want to like fully honor them both so I'm going to keep the name separate so her name will be Thendara Elsie Anne and um, we're excited. My mom hated it at first, but she loves it now, and I haven't had any other negative comments from people, but they could just be scared to tell me, because I might beat them up. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I will hopefully do another update before too long, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.